Hello everyone. I know it's been a while. Um, still breathing. Well, this is polytunnel. These are um, onion sets. They're about to go out in the in the front border. I didn't do enough this year, but it's still early. I can get some more. Sorry about the noise, the wind is quite high. There's the uh, tomatoes. I use these grow bags. And they're really quite big, if you look at my hand. And that's enough food in there for the whole year. I mix it with um, one part compost, one part topsoil and then um, one one part horse manure um, so there's three these two are for making sauces for pasta and tomato ketchup and things like that these are more sort of salad and this one's just a bit of a weird one to be honest I got two more here that's gonna go out. I got this really difficult cu I was given this cucumber. And I it just it's got a little fruit on it. Yeah. Um but it's just a to be honest most people will probably just throw that out, but I'm giving it a chance. I got some sweet potatoes here. I'm trying to chit. We call, I don't know what you call them in the states, but we we call it chitting. Yeah, so it's chit. Um, see the little sprouts coming up. So we put them in there until they develop a bit, and then we we'll put them in the ground. There's some chili plants. That's another cucumber. I've got a. I got a pot. And the peppers. The sweet peppers. You know the the long thin ones. That's a black grape. Good for wine. Um, that's a banana. I don't think you can eat that one. And uh, where is he? There. Um, that's a citrus. I'm not really sure. I got it for nothing, and I repotted it and just cared for it for about six months. And, and I didn't think it was going to live, but a little shoot has come out. So lemon, lime, orange, I'm not sure. Um, so we'll see on that one. This is my bench, the you know, table I made in my last video. So full of junk, but I got the top on. And then underneath, just loads and loads of pots and odds and sods. This is the nursery section. Um, so, cucumber, um, money maker tomatoes, squash. These are my daughter Bo. These are her apple seeds. She's been saving since last year. So there's three little apple trees in there, and a couple of other weird things she put in. And then, um, monge two, shiraz. And then dwarf bean, sonata, and then this is all broccoli, purple sprouting broccoli. This is um, cauliflower. There, this winter's uh, Brussels sprouts, and here's some stuff for for the misses. So lupins and sweet peas, broad beans. They need transplanting. Then I got. Um, more tomatoes here. These are Alisa Craig, and then these are melons, and these are them, them sort of yellowy small melons. They're nice, it's just a, a good handful, but super juicy, really, really good. Bardot, they're called, or Bardot, and the courgettes. One's just peeping through here. There's a 
three strawberry plant that I'm trying to get some life into. Um, okay, these are um, cayenne pepper, chili, sweet pepper, giant pumpkins. These are George's, my boy, and these are my daughter's. Squash. Chilies take forever to come through. That's a whole tray of chilies. And then these. These are my sweet corn. Quite. Quite handsome little plants. Pleased with them. So I'm just bringing them on. They're going to go out soon. So I got 48 of those. Carrots. They're only just starting. I'm quite early in the year, you know. And then they're like you grow them in America quite a lot. These are very bushy um, tomato. You know, they grow that really bushy. You put them in cages, um, but here we we don't often grow that style. But I've got two of them here, so I'll give them a try. So we're just going to let them roam and just see what happens. So that should be fun. And then here. These are bolotto, uh, bolotto beans. They're, like, they're, they're red, really nice little red beans. Beautiful plants, I love them. So, I keep my water in here. Because one thing, I, I, I don't know whether many people know this, but it's nice to have the, the water in your, in your greenhouse, your polytunnel. So it's the same, it warms up, so it's the same temperature as your plants. So when you water them, the plants don't go, ah! You know? They're just relaxed and enjoy the water. So, just uh, do that. Um, yeah, oh, it's chaos up here. But it's this busy time of the year. The missus is just throwing out shoes. So, rather than throw them all out, while she was well, while she was throwing, I was grabbing. I was taking the laces out. They'd be handy for tying up the tomatoes and stuff. Anyway, I've got some a couple of gooseberry bushes there. Anyway, there's a little update. That's what I've been doing. Life's been tricky, so but you got to march on. I'll, um, I'll do a better video tomorrow. Till then.